All right, you are live. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Gardening Club. We've got some future residents here, some current residents here, and the farmers and the agenda. Erin, take it away. What can we expect to do today? Um, I'm going to follow up from last month because last month we talked about potatoes. And so we're going to go back out into the potato field and just see how we're progressing. And I think some people are even going to go home with potatoes today. We've got some beautiful fingerling. Uh, so Farmer Skip's going to talk about that. Another thing we want to do is we want to start planting those raised beds or finish planting the raised beds that are over across the street. And so we've got uh, plants that we're going to put in tonight and Farmer Skip's going to lead everybody on how to do that. So if you're watching us on camera now and you want to walk over, uh, we'll probably be there in about 15 minutes or maybe a little bit longer. But just so you know, we're headed over there. What do you call that area? Over there is the founder side. So the first phase that opened in 2018 and more specifically in between lots um, 17 through 18 or at, in that area anyway, there's a bunch of amenities where the raised garden beds are. So lot 115 through 116, there's like four raised beds. And then in between lots 20 to 21 area, there's three raised beds in the compost section. So you're welcome to join us. Oh. <laughs> we're doing a quick agenda for the live peeps. And then, uh, as we walk over, we're going to check in at the permaculture bed, which has had some new development, and then also get an update on the orchard. Uh, Rebecca's going to talk us. Have a seat. Yeah, everybody, grab a chair. Um, Rebecca's also going to talk to us about the birdhouse project, which we're really excited about. And then also we had patio um, pots last summer, and we're going to do that again. We're, we're going to have herbs and other things that you can grow on your patio. Oh. And then um, the, just a quick update about the farmhouse project. We're working on the budget right now, but we did put in a worm bin. And so y'all can know that that is there. The flowers look really nice. So that's a quick overview of what we're going to be talking about today. Oh. Gardening Club peeps! Yay! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> hey, another future resident! <laughs> Maybe I can do it. This could be the uh, view. Volunteers Wednesday to Saturday morning and then also other days. <laughs> there, 
it's ramping up. It really is. Well, we're sure a lot, but people don't realize we are. So, um, yeah. Uh, and you don't have to have any experience. Yeah. Hey, and that's just Yeah, I will love to join your Saturdays periodically. Um, so I'm Pamela. People kind of know me as Pam Pam. I'm on Facebook as Pam Pam. Um, we were talking and so said that's my that's my mom's super cute nickname for me for when she wants something. So uh, people end up calling me that periodically, but uh, I live. Uh, I live just uh, south of downtown, right on the South Lake and Lake area. And I reserved a tumble for phase two. So I'm really excited. And I'm looking forward to kind of getting to know everybody. And I wanted to come and start being a part of things and helping develop it so that it feels like home even more so when I did it. Yeah, I love it. I'm excited. No, I'm originally from Kentucky, oh, and then I lived in San Diego for 16 years. Wow. Um, before yeah, that, yeah. it's pretty, but I didn't like living there. Um, <laughs> and then I, I went to high school and stuff, like grade school and everything in L.A., and then I lived in Kentucky in the summers. So it's it's a... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of why this works for me, because we're in the city, but we're not. Yeah. And it just it feels very, like, very much like what I grew up with. I have the exposure to both. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So, do you have any gardening things to start experiencing? Um, I, I am a plant lady. Okay. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> my entire apartment is like an indoor garden. Oh, sweet. Um, my old house, I did all the landscaping, um, took care of all of my plants throughout my flower beds and I have blackberries and strawberries right now growing on my patio. Okay. So I'm not an advanced, not like an advanced garden person, but I'm certainly not bad at it either. It's intuitive. You're very good. So I don't know why you're. The garden's not for anyone. Absolutely anyone. And this is my husband's garden. Hi. You can stick this back here. Shares today, and this is just $25, and it's also part of the market. Those pairs are great. They yeah. are. Yeah. They're 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 Lilies in the greenhouse. Oh, wow. And so we have this pays um, $20 a week, and they always uh, include herbs. So they don't. Gosh, so those are both twins. This is twin. Yeah, they're both twins. Yeah, flower bouquets are twins. And then, Rachel, you came to our flower bouquet making class. Yeah, you want to tell people about that? I hope you do it more. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I, I learned a lot, and we've been uh, doing what you said and cutting down the stems and taking out the dead parts, and it just becomes a whole new bouquet. Oh. I, have yeah, a pic yeah. I have a picture. It's I didn't even pay her to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I a lot of compliments. Perfect. People are like, wow, that looks professional. And I'm like thinking, uh, it's it's all in it. That's what it looks like. It does look pretty. You should send it to me. Okay. Our cat is obsessed with smelling. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. She goes up and she smells all of the all of the pollen, and it gets stuck on her face. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so the great thing about these flowers, you get one stem, but then you'll get four or five flowers on it. The problem is these anthers are where the pollen is. Anthers. Anthers. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, the thing is, all you do is you just flip them off. On Shirley. Yeah. <laughs> Farmer Scotty and Farmer I Perry. Uh, we uh we have tomatoes growing, and we finally got the flowers, and they're they're spinning out tomatoes now. Right, so it's breeding. We're in a farmer battle right now. On the orchard. Oh yeah. Competition. Oh yeah. Yeah, we 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 went down and bought some. Now, Home Depot to a farm, flower garden, farm garden, somewhere downtown in Austin. Yeah. It's not really a farm, it's, it's a nursery. Yeah. <laughs> With that tomatoes, you know, people think of them as a summer uh, fruit because they're not a vegetable, they're a fruit. Um, but what happens? So there's heat set tomatoes that do well in Florida, but you gotta get there's very few varieties of them, and that'll set through when it gets up to 80, 90. Oh, okay, yeah, we're still doing those. Oh. <laughs> when it gets up to 80 and 90 <laughs> degrees, it doesn't set free. Um, if it's not a, a heat set. So a lot of the varieties we have out there, Early Girl, um, Celebrity, all those cherries, if it gets up to 80 degrees and it doesn't cool off to below 70 at night, they're not going to set fruit. So that's why tomatoes, you got to get them set really soon. Um, otherwise, they're just going to sit there and grow really big and you'll be really frustrated. But there is a heat set. Yeah, if there is a heat set variety that will do that, but they're they're not so usually hybrid, they're not very tasty. So, anyway. What's the difference between a hybrid and an heirloom? Well, hybrid has been bred many times over to get the best quality seed, but it doesn't, it's really hard to get it to um, say the seeds because after the first year, it doesn't lose its actual genetics, original genetics, whereas heirlooms, um, you know, you plant it one time, harvest the seed, and it keeps that genetics all the time. So, you, you can. That makes sense, everybody? Cross pollinating. Yeah, well, we're getting routine. I'm like, I don't know. The kids are like, I don't know what they do that. No, that's a long conversation. Yeah. Oh, that's just a good thing. It's 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 a good and they want to keep growing it. But when you um, start crossing different breeds and um, patent. And you can do that in the lab. You can do it in the lab. You can actually do it with you know, getting two different plants and putting it together and see what happens. Um, and when, once you do that, though, you're not going to get that purebred. And then the next generation, you lose it even more. Every generation you lose it, when you save the seeds, 
it, it, it can start getting really bad really quickly, right. um, either in taste, um, so it's not true. To, to the yeah, it's not true to the seed. So that's just something. Yeah. So are we growing slicers here? Or all different kinds. Okay. Yeah. And they all come in different. They're all indeterminate. So. Yeah, and we'll walk through. And okay. We'll get to go to see what's happening right there right now. So we'll do a whole tour after we're done talking here before we go over there, and then I'll get a sense of what that should look like in a couple of weeks. And the competition is on. It's a bit of a fair. Okay. Yeah. 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 Where? Hey, Ben. 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 Yeah, yeah. I sprouted a holly box. Oh, I love holly box, and I, I, I have not grown them, but I'm super excited to grow them because I, they, I mean, they grow out of cracks in sidewalks oh, yeah. in England. So yeah, I figure my side, my side yard, which is mostly road bed, should handle just fine. They are biennials, though. Yeah. Right? So that yeah. means they don't always move first year. Yeah, and that's what they said. When I seeded them, it said, days to bloom, 365. I'm like, what? <laughs> but they're all a little sprouted, and they're this tall. Sure. Gotta get some in my ground, and then I'll have some to share. But, so I couldn't plant them here because I literally I was looking around for the seeds and then I was so excited when I saw the seeds that I just bought them and they're not organic. No. I'm not going to eat them, so no. I'm not that worried. But I knew that they could be planted here, so not, not yet. Not right when they make babies. Okay, so well, depends on the packet. So okay, so we got a lot of things. Do you have any news? How's your How's your compost? <laughs> well, actually, I was. I was going to say, so I went to check it out yesterday, and I don't know if it is because I'm still new, and I don't know that stuff, but I'm pretty sure people are putting in the food incorrectly. Oh. Um, only because the moss mats that we use, they need to be on top of all the food, correct? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, so people are putting the food on top oh, of the moss mats. Oh, no, 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 so, yeah. Right, so I think we need to... I think you need to go in and something. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we need to let people know that you have to put the moss mat down because it's the moss And mat. I think that yeah. meant that because it went. Yeah. yeah, and I was sure because I didn't even know it was uh, like fully implemented. I, I didn't realize that people had already the soil around it and stuff, so I just wanted to go check out yesterday. Yeah. And I opened it and I was like, oh, I think the plants are supposed to be on the top. And then I was like, and I mean, they need to be watered. So, I mean, I'm more than happy to go and check on the occasion to make sure they're watered. But yeah. I think we need to make sure that everybody knows that if they're going to dump food there, they need to pick up the map first. And you want to work with them. Yeah, make sure they need to Yeah, yeah and it's, it's probably important. I mean, I think most people know that nothing that's ever been cooked can go in that, but that's not necessarily a message from Captain Mario. So, like, those kind of things. I've been literally when I come over here, I've been watering it with the watering can and I'm like not the most efficient way to go, but it is a spot. There's a whole right here. Yes, so Isaiah just put down some seedlings and I asked him to keep them so that we could have the biomass for our plants. So there's like you don't want to do it. No, no, no. we choose. We choose. Well no. It well, takes too long. Yeah. It won't yeah. break down fast enough with the food will get in a room too quickly. You need some of it you need yes. like lean. Some of it's really, yeah, really on the Oh, I thought you meant the, the, the three limbs. Yes, the leaves on the floor. So when I saw those, 
coming up that include cooking. We're going to have a cooking class and it's probably going to um, involve taking something from the field and then our new summer food intern will teach the class. So we're going to put everything on the website, but I just want you to know that's coming. We're also doing tattoos. Like, like, not no. like that. Um, not like that. Not like that. That's <laughs> permanent. No, they're actually, um, oh, right. Yeah. Flowers out there. They're just flower tattoos. And you can put them on your dog's collar or your but it's just a way to place flowers and be decorative. Uh -huh. um, we're also going to do a flower crown class. Ooh. Anyone want to? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't mean to get that again. Very herself. I think you're going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make sure everyone knows about the fairy. Oh, the summer. Yeah. And around the farm, do you want to explain the fairy? Sure. Um, so, we, because this is a Swedish farm, Right, it is Swedish. Okay. The works for family yes. is Swedish. It's Swedish. It has a lot of pagan roots, and as farmers, they would create fairy homes so that they, the fairies would come and bless their crop and help them facilitate growth and everything like that. And so, fun story. <laughs> we made a fairy house and we set it all up. Well, it was Brandy helped me. But we, we, we put it out in front of our house and, you know, we put solar lights on there so it was twinkle at night for a couple hours. And we saw, it was last Friday, we had those rain these pop up and they were only in the vicinity of, of, of the fairy house. Um, that's it. And they were, they were rain. They started to rain and then they painted purple and pink and, but it was only in like, so one, this one little spot yeah, 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 right, 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 Oh, you got to get that from 
Okay, if right. this is half full, you can dump half of this on top mm -hmm. and then cover it with leaves. You're yeah, done. Half, half, and maybe like a scoop, just by the right proportions. So it's really easy. Okay. And, yeah, yeah, and if that was an instruction, then somebody wouldn't have to steward. Yeah. That. So these next five minutes, we're going to be doing everything. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, so you all have done a great job, but let's check on it, especially if people haven't seen it. And then we'll also take a look at the orchard, give you an update on the orchard. We've really just used mulch, so it's like gem to bring up a lot of the mulch. Um, and then uh, the birdhouse project will be led by Scotty at some point. Jeff. So, <laughs> not by Scotty. Oh. Dennis wants to leave that. Oh. He wants to do the he wants to do the birdhouse. We've talked about it extensively. Oh, oh you, you remember too, right? Yeah, so we're gonna do the birdhouse and kind of have like an assembly line thing. Um and because he's not here, um I guess this is not part of the work. Um he wants to do bat boxes too. Oh, so right. okay, cool. Everybody's probably happy about that. I love that. Bats. bats are amazing. They're fantastic. If you don't like mosquitoes, you need to stop like that. Bats are awesome, right? It's awesome. Why don't have bat boxes? Right. Right. That's cool. I, Dennis is going to be doing the he was really passionate, really excited about it. Right. Um, I'll let him know that you guys said yay yeah. to the to the birdhouse. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 So we're just put the funds together. Uh, we do get our fund fund every month. So a portion of that's going to the board game night, but we still have you know, worst case scenario, we could make this social and make the birdhouses and mm -hmm. the bat houses and do some fun stuff. Yeah. I'm sure that we can make a pilot and then like we could all go over it yeah. and then make some videos oh. list and then that will help kind of organize and stratify yeah. things. Yes. So but why could we so long to get like the the fairy house thing in order? Because I tried multiple different ways to try and find out how I could streamline it. Um and so I think that's where Dennis is coming from too. Oh, cool. Yeah, we'll we'll do our own little thing and then we'll bring it and be like, what do you think? And then we can move forward. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay, here's our winner. Your winner. And they are very hard to grow here. There you go. Congratulations. My um, documenting skills are improving. If you would like to join our gardening club, please send your email to this vfcares at robertscommunities.com. We'll get you on the list. Farmer Skip is about to do a tour for us. We planted potatoes at one of the meetings about two months ago. This is the first time that I'm seeing all of it alive all at once. Okay. Yeah, that's super awesome. Watch out for fire ants, they're terrible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's just watching me. Don't stand it. Yeah. Bastard. Yeah. 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 Down, Look how big they are, though. Yeah. Coming back, fighting yeah. back. Yeah. The best I just did. Uh, <laughs> actually, Bolton, you can see, right? Mm -hmm. It's too late for that. I mean, it doesn't like too parsley. Italian parsley. Mm -hmm. And that's Bolton. These are, these are like volunteer sunflowers that will get six feet tall. We don't get them out of there. Oh, uh, we had volunteers last year where the fruit trees are now. They're beautiful. <laughs> they were so abundant. I hope that they still pop in. Is it lavender? Lavender, yeah. yeah. And it's flowering. I don't think there's many things that are lavender. And this is the volunteer. Anyone know what this is? If you can guess, you get the other potatoes. <laughs> the farmer's best friend is providing nitrogen back into the soil. So that's a clue. It's right there. There's one. There's all that from the seed that dropped last year. I let it go till it's really high and then it reseeds. Look at look at really close. Look at what does it look like? Look at the leaves on there. And look at all the trees. Look at the leaves. Look at the leaves. Clover. Clover. Just like 
Surprise! We're going to check this, but I'm guessing this needs about two more weeks. It's just starting to, it's not even flowering yet. Soon it'll flower, like right now, it's starting to flower, and then it'll start going brown. What color is it? It's the flower. It's too tough. You can't even tell yet. It might be purple. Oh, okay. So it, could be, it could be this purple one. So, what do you, who's going to guess the size of this right now? That's a good guess. It's probably smaller than, like a big marble. Does that mean I get the share in there? <laughs> 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 you have to do it at an angle and far enough away that you don't stab them. And you pull and lift at the same time. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Look at that. It's big. Look. It's big. That's a stiff competition. This side's doing good on weeds. Yep. Oh, yeah. Wear your gardening gloves. <laughs> It'll have gotten a lot of these leaves. Okay, I think. Any questions? Yeah, of course. Yes. I don't know if it's getting really out of hand. These cherries are indeterminate, right? So they keep growing and growing, whereas these won't. These get about this size and they're going to stop growing. All right, off to the founder's side. 
So we're going to go all the way over there. Just go directly down here. Yeah. Um, do you, so I brought my truck just in case. You said that you've got everything in yours, though? I could drive my truck if you don't want to sit in my truck bed. Yes. Oh, different one. <laughs> Looks so pretty. I think they were seeing like April. Yeah, um, hopefully March or April. The building's in the back order eight months. Yeah, it's crazy. So I think first we'll go to 115 to 116, those beds, and then we'll walk the ones by where Carrie used to live. So then we'll go there second. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that a lot of the beds are already taken. One of them be over there for sure. Uh, but I know that the bed over by Amar, that's just full of weeds. Oh, okay. She told me to order each bed. Yeah, there should be blackberries. The other one, that's only one bed. Okay, so we'll get the weeds out tonight. Well, we're getting some pre planted produce, so we'll be ready. <laughs> Spiral Herb Garden. Milkweed, that's good for your liver, I believe. Or is that milk thistle? The peach tree. The flowers look pretty. Me too. Garlic the chives. I reconstructed what it was. It was <laughs> originally. I just put it back. He together. added the little Stonehenge entry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The I love yeah. that. Wow. That's so fun. Ta da! <laughs> sure. Let's do it. They're grabbing some supplies. I'm gonna throw my phone in the She's in it. Bumblebee. Sorry guys, I had to do a little detour here. All right. <laughs> Orchard. They look like little twigs right now. Mm. 
Yeah. They look like little twiggy twigs. I'm trying to get an ETA when these raised beds will be added. This is the future location of raised garden beds. Ta da! Yep, we're gonna do at least three and then some benches. The... Yep, that way they will face out looking on the farm. Hey, Skip's getting a head start. He's already heading over. There's Sammy. And so this orchard, well, who wants to talk about the installation? Who is, who? It was low. Yeah, there you go. It was a good time. It was a good morning. Tell us a little bit about the installation. Well, it was a team effort, and it occurred over a period of two, three weeks. Everyone kind of came out in shifts whenever they could. Sometimes you'd show up, and there was, you know, another two or three people. But uh, we started by digging a lot of holes. We had one hole that was a disaster that became a, a fountain of bubbling water at all times. <laughs> Flooded us out a little bit. So we had to some repairs. Um, <laughs> but we got them all in. So I just want to let you know where Charlene's standing is the next row. And I had mentioned that there's a guy in Kyle who's a farmer we really admire. He's going to give us some rare breed pigs. Yay! Farmstand. Can't you see it in your imagination? Rest in peace. That was a pomegranate uh, tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a pomegranate tree? Okay. Well, what is that tree? No, they're right there. Well, but what's the tree that died? What was it supposed to be? Peach tree. Oh, man. Okay. And then I was talking to Stephanie about what we're going to plant in that world. And so that will be happening in the fall. So we're not quite done with this, but we're mostly done. The next step is if anybody's, you know, bored, you can just weed around the trees because again, we need to have a four foot circle of mulch. And until we get that mulch brought over, we really are gonna have weed trouble. But once it's mulch, then we're and we get the irrigation. Let's do a weed yeah. meeting where we yeah. and then pull the weed. <laughs> So we're walking over to the founder's side. We have some, I think an hour and a half of sunlight left. Yeah. <laughs> This will be good for the viewers at home to see where the farm is in relation to the founder side. So future raised beds here. That, if you've ever visited before, is where the sales office is now. But yes, most folks who visited know that tiny home. Where Dennis is walking is where the future general store will be located in Bistro. That's probably another three years out. We're going to wait until phase four. So more people live here to sustain it.
That's where we just were with the fruit trees. That's the farmhouse built in 1902 by the Berkshire family. Now we're approaching the model home section, which is where our new sales office will be located. Oh, these are little try before you buys. Just try before you buy. So if you want to sleep here on property for two nights to get to know the neighbors, little farmers, if you do, we'll comp the expense as a promotion when you move in. Make sure that you're making the right decision. Get to know the address. I didn't know that you were staying here in an RV. So before I did the tiny homes, I lived in a travel trailer for three years. Yeah. I'm right here on site number 63 where the red truck is. I totally spaced it. I think we might have discussed that when we met that one day. That's cool. So then you get to know everyone before. You do? You, yeah. The constant reminder. <laughs> what are these guys doing? So to anyone who's visited, that's the Oak Forest office. And then when you turn left, this is like the founder side. There's 42 lots. And we share space here with the Oak Forest RV Resort. So I'm getting a, getting a little orientation tour the new model home section. Are available like for a, like a, a weekend or Yep. So if your family comes to visit and you don't have room in your tiny home or whatever, they could stay there and still be on property with you. Or if you want to, like, if people have never stayed on property before, if you want to sleep there, you can get a feel for the community, which is important to see how quiet it is and safe. And... There you go. Yeah, so they can stay there in June. They're on Airbnb right now, or, you know, Jim, you've met Jim, right? They're um, kind of overseeing the rentals at the Oak Forest office. There's Skip coming in with the goods. I like living on this side, but I will say the farm side has the best views. In my opinion. I like the way it's up here on the crest. It is very pretty. Yeah, the ones here have a really cool view of the farm. It kind of overlooks, and it's like a really high elevation. So it's always nice and cool, like the wind hits you nicely up here. Yeah, definitely. And when I lived in my glamper, I could never keep it cold. The air conditioning was constantly running. The tiny homes are way better insulated. It's like night and day difference. I bet that my dog will bark at us when we walk by. Should I get him? I'll get him. Our storing goes there. Little Agora, are you gonna come with us? Whenever I walk by, if he's alone, he's like, save me. So I think we're gonna go to those ones first. All right, I'm going to save my dog, and then I'll be heading over there. Oh, my God, hang tight. Got... There he is, right by the door.
Okay, we're back. Where the Gora? Come on, let's go, Gora. This is the founder side. Little fire pit area. Hachi ball. The hammocks. No. Okay. <laughs> So it's, it might be pretty good, but it's not going to have a lot of nitrogen. And so it's not going to, it'll never be enough to eat tomatoes, and particularly watermelon. That watermelon will go over this whole area. And if it doesn't have a really good source of nitrogen, it'll just get thoroughly stuck. Will the ladybug kind from Callahan's be good? Yeah, this tomato is vitamized and a I want you to look at the front way bed of my house and yeah, tell like, me what I need to have. Like, like, oh, no. This is like chemistry. Holy <laughs> sugar! We just throw it away. <laughs> so let's, let's, yeah, I think the farm side folks mostly stayed on their uh, ton of homes. Oh, no, seriously, we need to be able to connect the two. I love the new paint color. Beautiful. So good. I love it. It used to be like an orangish color. It's the same gray as the tumbleweed, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, Wendy, you're doing your own gardening. <laughs> We're going to touch up the raised beds. Uh oh, am I strangling Agora? Okay. <laughs> like around his neck. It's got the stock one by the oh compost. How did you get in here? There's, There's a chicken? Oh, no. oh, Don't let my dog see. Hi, 
Oh, what, what are you doing in there? Oh my god. <laughs> Farm life. It's like, get me out of here. <laughs> then leave him in the dog park. Oh, Milo. Hi, Milo. We've got an abundance of cute Pomeranians. Hi, Milo. So are these all weeds? No, these are berries. We just see and that one. Okay. So I can buy those online probably. Yeah, like we need it's like it's like an arch because it'll grow like right over it and we can have like a tunnel. That would be awesome. A berry tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally what that is. Well what's all this? Oh, this is they kind of look like peas or something, but they're oh, okay. string beans, some sort of weed. So this bed, deadsies. Oh, oh look at the red rain on our parade. I mean, I'm gonna try it. I guess I'm just following Skip's lead. Yeah. It's Arugula. spicy. I just tried some. It's a rubella. Oh, yeah. I just want to say spicy. Oh. Learning is a workout. Yes. It does smell good. Oh, this is bad. Volunteer Cedar Milo does not like us being here. <laughs> Their compost section. So this, yeah, see, that's the signage that I made. It got just totally destroyed in all the storms and stuff. I can remake it. Yeah, I guess it kind of did okay. Where our, see, we used to just throw the stuff in here. Is that full? Oh, God. <laughs> I haven't been over here in a while. These look like weeds. So, is this our first project? Agora, get out of there, you little fluffy thing. What are you doing? Oh no! So we've got this small plant too. So should we just start pulling stuff out of here? I think that's corn, isn't it? Ooh, I don't know if I'm strong enough to do this. Sorry, I'll get out of the way. Oh! Yep. Yeah, she, she put that in because she wanted it to Oh, got a solar light. Oh. Oh, no. Dang, we got some decorations now. Clover. 
Yeah, and then we'll bring it over to the compost pile. So this can be our biomass. What about this stuff? Are we taking this stuff out too? Like I think part? that we could use that for the compost pile. Yeah, because we're going to want to lay some fresh soil down. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> I made a song. So I'm going to keep the soil in here. She's going to be a farm girl. A farm baby. Oh. Are you going to be our best volunteer? <laughs> well, she'll have a friend soon. All right, so we're storing this. But now won't this be too much of the green stuff? Maybe we can store the excess in here. Well, I don't want to throw it on here. Good. Right. So should we keep this here so when we put the food scraps in there? Uh, maybe there's too much food scraps. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't realize I threw it there until like. Yeah, so that's what I was saying is like we're kind of running out though because so the only leaves that I have is when they cut down, you know, branches that they don't need. And then, yeah, what else can we use though now that it's not the fall? It's like lasagna. Uh, it kind of works out well for me in some ways because my um, apartment lease isn't up until April. So even if it's delivered in like March, it gives me a little time to kind of get rid of some of my furniture and settle in. And... So yeah, it is a little purchase. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. I don't know about you get this one. Oh. Well, you can come to our pizza party on Saturday. Yeah. Well, I've been doing um, Marie Kondo. Sorry for a long time. We can um, share your contact info so folks who move in can have your help. Yeah, I was going to say, I seriously like this is a good partnership. Mm, yeah, oh, no. Like was it Rachel Pittman? Yeah, she's, she did the model home. I mean, she was really nice when I texted the back asking for um, how she did clothes and stuff in her process, and then she never messaged me back. So like, Maybe, okay. um... Yeah, Pamela can help, and he, you can be our yeah. Keep it in the village. Go local. Yeah, go local in the village, and I'll help with her. So I, um, yeah, that's super synergistic. I've been doing it for a long time, but I just started, like, an Instagram and all the things when I made her to and all, all my neighbors were asking to see their places after seeing mine. Nice. So, okay, I don't to you totally. Way to be entrepreneurial. Like, I'll be like next week. I have another job that just closed out. I'm doing like one to two clients a month for you. And probably hungry in the back of that truck. This looks really good. See, this didn't take long. It takes a village. We all came over here between the few of us. 
Are we keeping this one? Um, is that basil? Yeah, that's basil. Mm. This is a grab. Okay, these disgusting files. There's something. That one. That's not a grab, but I don't know what it is. Whatever it is. It lives in the soil. Look at this one. What is this, Angela? That is a grab. Really? Ooh. I thought they came like it's in shells or something. It's a it's 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 Yep. Uh, what do you oh, need? Oh, you need it. 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 Oh, The dogs would probably go crazy too. Oh. Like, where is my easy chicken? So the first time I saw them, yeah. I'm gonna chase them. I have to be careful because I don't want them to be really big. Oh, too much fun. Oh, they're fun. Look at these cute little guys. Cute little tiny doggies. So what are these? Oh, yeah. 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 So, hey, Carrie, how did you guys make those little signs that said what each flower was? Carve in the name of it. Well, I'd like to buy some more for these, maybe. You might be, yeah, you ask him for the, where he got it from. Okay. Uh, I think it was Amazon. Okay, we're going to support Jeff Bezos. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they... Perfect. Okay, well, I'd like to buy more so that we can name everything. Yeah. If you have the link, if you could text it to me, I'll, I'll buy those for us. Yeah. Then we can put them here. Because I think that's what's been missing is signage. Like, people need to know what it is. And then, like, this is a community garden. Here's how we interact with the... Yeah. Well, we're going to get as many as we can. Well, it's like a worm or something. Yeah, we've got a whole lot more treats for your bird. Okay. Is there some type of um, break I can use? Oh, there's still one. There's one. Is there any type of yeah. 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 There's one. So they'll kill our plants. Oh, there's one. It's up at the very top. That's how the chickens like the compost pile. Yeah, break it down. Do you think we could plant the watermelons in the compost pile? Yeah. <laughs> well, it seems gated. Maybe in this little area? Ah. <laughs> No, I just, I thought you said it was too heavy for this. No, he was saying trellis it. 
Oh, I found a grubby thing. Eww, it's alive. I found one. Here you go. I found one. Flowers? This one might get more shade because of the tree. I don't know. That's why we need those cool little sides. Every seat feet. Four tomatoes. Two cucumbers. So these are four tomatoes and those are two cucumbers. I need to remember this so I can get my signs. Yay, sunflowers. They're gonna need to be water grilled well. Maybe we can get some volunteers for watering too. All right. There we go. Natural watering. And then we're doing cucumbers over here. All right. Oh. If we have little spoons, we could write on the spoon with a sharpie and stick it into. Yeah, if you wow. make it like we're doing, the water when it gets water by hand, pool in there. The spoon thing. Oh, the wait. What did he say? What? Did he... I don't know. What's this for watering? Oh, it's for air, it's for an anaerobic, anaerobic process. It lets out some of the carbon dioxide or oxygen, whatever is going on, the gases in there. Methane. I don't know. It's usually methane. It's baby break. <laughs> the first village farm baby. <laughs> you guys are kicking booty. Wow, this is wild. Oh, all <laughs> those little things are going to be great. Wow. Mm -hmm. I need a basis. Okay, I'm going to go. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Are all I, mean, I would look at that and be like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's green. <laughs> I think that's good. <laughs> well, one of the yellow pair ones I got, it was, um, the stem was blue because it froze already. I didn't know that. 
it's so I got it and it had like a blue stem and it went through the frost, but it's still growing. Sure. The frost? Oh, just the recent. Not the not the, the, no, the right. after no popular. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Probably like over there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 Maybe that guy can go here since he has little friends. Sure. I don't know what these ones are. I think those are watermelons. Oh, so do they need more space? Yeah, they need to be like two feet. Because they're going to, he said they're going to get bushy and big. All right, then I'll move this one here. Oh, like right there. Yeah, probably a little closer to this right here. It's going to hang over on that. Y'all want to say hang over on that side, right? So, like, away from everybody, and you can't really see them until you walk over there. So, this is good? Yeah. Woohoo! You're a master planter. <laughs> I just got my new manicure with soil. <laughs> just kidding. I was making a joke because my fingers are all soily. <laughs> like I just got my new manicure, my soil manicure. Yeah. This sucks. Chunky. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to break this up. It's just all dark. Mixing everything. I think we could put something else here. It looks like it. Sorry, Lauren. <laughs> it seems like a good idea at the time. So, these little things. What's all this? I think we could put more stuff in this one. Get back in there. Yeah, it is garlic clove. Uh, I think it's garlic clove. It's like a little purple. Oh, it's onion. Garlic onion. And the, the purple little stem little things, they actually are repelling all the gnats in my soil. The only thing is They're moving in May 24th. Oh, yep. Yeah, we're gonna put a rogue flower in the middle of it. Yeah. And her name's Chloe. I, I, I She's nice. Why, why don't you put that right? Um, right here. Nice reach. This one's okay. Like, yeah. Teamwork. Yes. Teamwork makes the teamwork. I don't know. That's what we need to figure out. I'll ask Amar if he's down. Hey, want to be our watering person? Yeah. Making it even better. <laughs> You're taking that guy in the pot. Now we've got even more amazing things planted. Yay. That's what we're supposed to do to make sure it cooks, right? Sure. Whatever you think's best. Yeah, I bought stuff and then it just all got rained on. I mean, we bought that to cover stuff, but 
There's compost starter. Yeah, and then we had, see, there's this signage that had, you know, here's where the leaves go, here's where the greens go, but, well, oof. yuck. Watch out for this one. What's, what's in here? I don't know, but it's heavy. Oh, my gosh. You guys want to... Oh, my gosh. Look at this. You know what those are? Maggots? No. Soldier, soldier flies. Flies, if you rarely see them, they're so big. They're about this big. Flies that are just... Like, you hardly ever see them. They're huge. And... Oh, oh should we take it to the river farm? What should we do with it? Just throw the whole thing away and buy a new one? <laughs> Compost. All right. So should, we, should I get my truck and drive it to the urban farm? Okay. Do you want me to help carry it? It actually didn't smell that bad. It just looked really gross. <laughs> Maybe the wind was walking in your direction and I was protected. <laughs> yeah, when COVID happened, we were like, I don't know if it's safe to do the compost, to move everything over and touch everyone's food scraps. So we kind of neglected the compost for a while. All right, y'all, that's it. Gardening Club has reached its conclusion. Thank you for tuning in. Until the next second Wednesday of the month, here's our awesome progress. That's a pretty sweet accomplishment for such a short amount of time. All right, we'll let Agora close out our uh, meeting here. Come here, Agora. Look cute. Come here, look cute. Okay. There he is looking cute. Good job, Agora. Oh, there's Sugar looking cute. He has a little friends. They're gardening buddies. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Or should I say y'all? Oh, Shelby's there. Hi, those beds are infested with cutworms. Yes, Shelby, we know. We happen to have a chicken in the back of the truck. You're not going to believe this. But there was a chicken that actually got into Skip's truck. So the chicken is going to eat these and have a feast, basically. Where is the chicken? Look, Shelby. That chicken. She's about to have a buffet on those little guys. Thanks for planting all this, Shelby. We just went through and kind of renovated if you will okay guys bye thank you for tuning in until next time <laughs> yes